part one left me gagging and part two will definitely do. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Taylor Tots, welcome back to Justice is Served. So I am so excited uh, to have, have the opportunity, uh, like most of you uh, who likes to binge watch, I am obsessed with Stranger Things, okay? Stranger Things has been such a, uh, like a nostalgia moment, okay? I had to bust out the 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 shirt girl I had to bust out the shirt just not stranger things shirt girl not a stranger things shirt i need to get one but look at this girl yeah <laughs> speaking of nostalgia okay hello golden girls so i um love stranger things for a couple reasons okay so first off my favorite actress is in there of course why not a writer and uh it is such a um I don't know. It's kind of like when you watch that show, Roseanne, you just get this like almost feeling like, uh, I don't know about you, but I get a feeling of like watching my own family. Now we didn't act anything like that. <laughs> we didn't even have that furniture. Actually, we did at one point because that couch was hideous. But <laughs> I, um, I love watching shows that takes you back in time. Not too far back because girl, I am not about a classic. No tea, no shade. But I love, um... Uh, Roseanne is one of my favorite shows. I love watching Golden Girls. Now, Golden Girls is a little bit further back, depending on uh, which episode you're watching. But, of course, as it gets up further, there's things that happen, and you remember uh, those times, obviously. I'm not going to say my age. However, uh, I love uh, those feel-good, um, I don't know, those, like, sensorial feel-good moments because of the era that it's in. And I will tell you... Um, I had a hair. Sorry, girl. Um, <laughs> don't know where it came from, but, <laughs> but I, uh, of course, like everybody else have been watching, uh, Stranger Things. I think that I am hooked on the show. I don't really commit to a lot of shows, uh, wanting to watch them and stay like, like on them, on them. The only other show that I've actually watched every single episode of, uh, when it was like coming out, like on television was actually The Walking Dead. Uh, and then Fear the Walking Dead for so long. But then I ended up um, doing Stranger Things every time it drops because it's so good. And it's so, like, not realistic, obviously, because of the content uh, of, that's around it. But it does, like, that the era moment of it is so real. Uh, and it's so good. I mean, even, like, the outfits are super realistic for that time. The hair uh, hairstyles, the jewelry... Uh, the verbiage, and it's just, it's good. And I love watching Wine on a Rider in anything, to be honest with you, but I think that I like her her character more in this um, in this show than I've seen in a lot of things. Now, I mean, you ain't ever gonna clock her when she was in Beetlejuice Girl. That's, that's one you ain't gonna touch. Or in Girl Interrupted, you're not gonna touch her in that. But, uh, you know, it's great to see her in a television show to where it's not just like a, you're done with an hour-long movie and you're finished, or hour and a half long and it ends. I like to see her in something that keeps developing and keeps growing. And the show itself, I'm not going to talk about any specific details because of course I don't want to do any spoiler alerts or anything like that. So don't worry about any of that. But I do love how as each season goes, she becomes even more comfortable and confident as her as a person. And of course, you know, L or Eleven is uh, the main character that everybody's, uh, that always, I guess, the camera revolves around or the nucleus of the group of the entire show, but I really feel that as the seasons go, one on the writer's character really does end up becoming, um, that nucleus for its own branch off section in, uh, the seasons. But I will tell you, it's really good. And it's, it's one of those shows that is really easy to watch. You don't have to like follow. I feel like I have another hair. I did. Where are these coming from, girl? I feel like I just, girl, shade. <laughs> Even know where it's coming from but um you know i think a lot of shows you know once they get past like the second season we think that they're either going to go amazing with detail and amazing with um i guess the the plot in the storyline or it's going to flop and i feel that they really have something like great going for them uh, to where i could really see it um flourishing up to be even more and even like uh, as many seasons as maybe Walking Dead. I don't really know if it's going to be that many seasons, but um, again, I'm not giving any spoilers away. I'm not saying that it's going to continue after this uh, season or part two 
um, of this season. Um, but I'm just saying that, like, if they wanted to, it's something that they could do. But the, the show itself is uh, easy to follow. Let's just say that. You don't really have to know the characters' names to know what's going on. You don't really have to know what happened in the past because I will tell you their recaps at the beginning of it is pretty quick, but it's very uh, detailed to where you can you can pick it up at any point in time and know exactly what had happened before. What had happened. Um, <laughs> what had happened was. Uh, but the show is great. And I will tell you, I... I... The first half of this season was very, uh, it was very mysterious in the sense of, like, there was a lot of stuff that happened at once. And I was like, girl, this is a lot of, this is a lot going on. And, it, and I think that they do it because they want you to stay engaged because, I, again, I'm not going to go into super big detail, but there is just so many different stories going at one time that they have to do something to make sure you're not getting lost and getting overwhelmed at the same time and want to just turn it off. But then uh, the second half uh, launched uh, today, or well, technically you're watching this on Saturday, but it dropped on Friday, so yesterday. And the, uh, the episodes are long, but there's not that many. But I will tell you, there's so much that happens in those episodes that, like, I didn't want to move. Like, I literally would pause it just to run to the restroom. And, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you'll you'll watch a show and you're like, it's fine if I if I step away for a second. It's cool. This one, I felt like if I, if I didn't pause it to run to the restroom, that I was going to be, like, missing some juicy piece and I didn't want to miss any part of it. And, again, I'm excited to see um, if they decide to go any further um, or... If they already have. Uh, if you are not a fan of Stranger Things, what is what is a show that you absolutely love to watch that brings you back in time? Uh, what is what is that show that you used to watch? And I don't know about you, but I used to love watching Nick at Night. So Nick at Night was even when I was in school. Like I used to watch Nick at Night, and I used I loved Three's Company. Um, I used to love watching um, The Jeffersons. Was the like amazing? I loved watching. Um, Roseanne, of course. And let's see, what else is on there? I Dream a Genie was really good, but I, it was like a hit or miss for me on that show. Like, it was either I was all into it or I wasn't into it. Let's see, what else was on Nick at Night that, oh, I Love Lucy, girl. You cannot miss I Love Lucy. I Love Lucy is one of those movies, uh, one of those shows that it was in black and white for so long. And I didn't even, like, it's one of those that, like, I don't even notice that it's in black and white. I just love watching it. And I think she's hilarious. Now that I'm a little bit older, the, the, the shticks that they were doing isn't as funny, but I still love the show. Um, Wonder Years. Okay, so I don't think, I don't, I'm not going to go into this detail, but I'm just going to say that I used to look um, like, uh, what is his name? Something Savage. Put in the comments. Something Savage. I can't remember his name. I can't want to say Randy Savage, but I don't think that's it. I think it's a wrestler girl. <laughs> But I used to look like the boy, the main character uh, that played in Wonder Years when I was younger. So it's so funny because um, everybody used to think I looked just like him and it was crazy. That or Alfalfa from uh, Little Rascals. But I just, I love those, those shows uh, that you can just go and watch and just binge watch and just keep going. So, I mean, I have the full set of Roseanne. I got that as a gift. I watched Queer as Folk, which is not putting it back. Um, as far as, like, an era of nostalgia. But it was one of those shows that I remember, like, Queer as Folk, I used to put the towel underneath the door and so they couldn't see the light because it was on Showtime. And I just remembered come on at 10 p.m. every single uh, Sunday, I think it was. And my parents would still be up. so And I didn't want them seeing that I was awake watching TV because they would know. And I would have it turned down to, like, the volume to, like, one or two to where I could hear it. But I had to sit really close to the TV and honey, that's when the hormones were running rampant. And that show is like, whew, girl. <laughs> but tell me again, I want to know, um, is there a movie that you absolutely love that is that nostalgia? One movie that I love to watch, and I don't think people give it enough credit, is She-Devil. She-Devil is so good with Roseanne on it. Um so good and if you haven't seen she devil it is amazing and i think it is an uh, like a women empowerment movie that every woman needs to see um other than fried green tomatoes because that's another one that is like girl you need to watch it and feel empowered to take on the world 
But um, the uh, She Devil is so good. So Meryl Streep is in it from like she was super young. And then you have Roseanne that was in it. And I don't know the guy's name. I really don't care what his name is. Uh, the the main character, the, the the husband. But her husband is cheat. Roseanne's husband is cheating on her with Meryl Streep. And she finds out and she's finally over it. And she has like this mole and like she's uh, plus size, obviously. And she is just very dated in her stuff. And she's just the housewife that just says, yes, sir. No, sir. When her husband says something, because it's that time frame. Well, she ends up going into her house and saying, you know, what? I'm done with this. The kids are at school. She packs a couple of bags, puts it in a, a taxi um, or in a car. I don't remember what it was, uh, but she ends up. Uh, destroying her house and putting uh, cans of hairspray, I think it was, or spray paint, in the uh, microwave and turns it on and then the house ends up exploding. The reason why she did this is she then does this self-discovery and this plot to get her husband uh, pretty much just like miserable in life, lose his job, all this stuff. So it's so funny to watch how the plot like just unfolds in front of you of uh, how she becomes this strong, confident woman and how she embraces her beauty uh, and realizes how gorgeous she actually is without having to do all this riffraff and all this other BS. Uh, but it's so good and it's so funny to see Meryl Streep in such a weird, uh, like, role because she's so, um, cause she's a romance novelist and it's hilarious to see her in this, like, almost whiny, um, attention seeking position or character like <laughs> it was hilarious but it's really good if you haven't watched it it's she devil but that's another one that is a very nostalgia movie uh because i want to say that it was in the late 80s or early 90s uh, but super good the, the music is fantastic and then another one i absolutely love that you have to see um uh, earth girls are easy i think is the name of it um, and what's her name that plays Barbara from Beetlejuice is in it. I never can remember that actress's name. She also played in A League of Their Own. So she's the main character. And then you have Jeff Goldblum that's in it. You have, um, uh, what is his name? Uh, uh he plays in the, the movie where he, uh, gets to be Jesus for a little while. Um, and he's a comedian. Oh my gosh. It is like right there. He also played... Uh, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, and Jim Carrey. Oh, okay. And then um, I cannot think of the other guy's name. Um, he's not a Wayans brother. I don't know what is. I don't know who he is. I can't think of his name right now. But it is so good. It is so freaking good, and it is hilarious, and it's so cheesy, and so like overly animated. But it is one of those movies that is just so funny to watch and just so chill. Like, it's one of those, like, you lay by the pool, you had a great day, you come in, uh, order pizza, and you and your friends just chill out and watch something and just kiki. Like, that is the movie. Like, that movie is so good. Um, and you, ha I mean, I'm telling you right now, you've got to see it. I mean, it's one of those movies, again, that it's like, it's in the late 80s or early 90s. They're very uh, sexualized on uh, what these aliens uh, or extraterrestrials that landed in her swimming pool uh, think of Earth. And it's so funny because they start adapting and trying to adapt uh, uh, to what they see and start mimicking. And it's so funny. Uh, but, I mean, it's good. Again, it's super corny, super cheesy. So just know that one is one of those that, like, don't sit down thinking you're about to, like, see some uh, documentary of something uh, that you're going to learn something when you get done. Like, it literally is just a feel-good movie and it's just hilarious. But I am drinking this right here, girl. This is not Mountain Dew. This is ice water. It is huge. So when I tell people I'm country and I'm Southern, this is what I'm talking about. You have to know the specific gas stations to get these, girl. And it's only in the South. But <laughs> when I tell people I'm laying by the pool and having only one drink, this is the one size drink that I'm having. But I will tell you. It's huge. It is huge. And funny story happened. Okay. Obviously, I'm filming this after I went live um, last night. And one, the live was great. Thank you all so much for joining me. It was so much fun. And thank you again for the super chats that you sent me. If you missed the live, you're more than welcome to send a super thanks, uh, which is the heart with the dollar sign on it. 
That's how you can tip me. Um, if you want to tip a girl, uh, I'm not going to go into the details of the AC and all that stuff. If you want to watch it, it's on my live. But on here, um, I want to tell you a funny story that happened after I went live. So I went downstairs and uh, I have this process that I do to keep me full and then also to um, keep me regular, girl. <laughs> So Metamucil, okay, I've already told you it's my it's my go-to. I absolutely love Metamucil. So I take it in the morning uh, before I eat or anything like that, if I even decide to eat in the morning, and then I will have a uh, lunch or a late dinner, a late lunch or early dinner. Uh, and then for, depending on if I'm so hungry, like I'll eat dinner, like for real eat dinner, or I won't. It just depends on how late I eat lunch. And most of the time I end up eating pretty late because I'm, I'm working, I'm busy, I, I forget about it. You know how it goes. But... So I usually take a Metamucil uh, in the evening time or at night. And it's because I have this habit of getting bored and wanting to snack. And I don't want to snack. I haven't been snacking. So I'm trying to maintain it. Now, it's hilarious because I went downstairs and we don't have any bottled water at the moment because we just we ran out and I just I forgot to order some more. So I didn't have a water bottle to use and I didn't think to just get a mixer cup and shake it and put it in some water. So I was filling up my water uh, jug over here, my petite cup, and uh, I, I was like, I'll just use a regular glass. So I get a glass from the cabinet, put water halfway through, and the glass is about this tall, so I got about, well, about like this tall. It's not crazy large, and I went halfway with water, and I was going to put the Metamucil in. So I did. I grab a spoon to spin it. Third time I spin the spoon, it hits the side of the glass, which, I mean, it's going to hit the glass. I mean, you're stirring it up. Honey, it knocks a hole in the side of the damn glass. And I'm holding it like this, high up, away from the sink. Next thing I know, this shit is shooting out the side. <laughs> shooting out the side of the cup. And I'm like, what in the hell? Metamucil water was all over the floor, all over the counter, had went on appliances, has went all over the rug. And I don't know about you if you have ever tried Metamucil, but let me just give you a little detail of what Metamucil is like once it gets in some water. So Metamucil turns into almost like this gel, okay? And this gel, when it goes in your body, like you drink it and it tastes just like you have um, like something in your water, like a little, a little tiny bit of grainy, uh, depending on how much you mix it up. But... <laughs> If you let it sit in the water a little too long before you drink it, it turns into that gel. And it is quite thick, girl. So next thing you know, this shit is all over the counter, all over the floor, all over appliances, all over me, all over my, my, my petite cup of water. And I am like, what in the hell? So I have to pour it out, throw it down there, find the piece of glass because it, it took a shard out like this long. And it just, it fell on the floor and that's where it came out. And I was so confused because I'm like, what in the hell? How did this break that easily? It wasn't a hot glass. It had not just been washed. I mean, it's been in the cabinet. Like, so, I mean, I don't understand how in the world this did that. But I'm like, girl, I'm not doing that again. So, <laughs> I had to clean this shit up. And it was all over the place. All over the place. And, of course, as I'm trying to get paper towels to do it, it's turning more into a gel as it sits there. So, you can only imagine how hard it was to get this stuff up. Thank goodness I did sugar-free Metamucil because that sugar would have left a sticky residue on everything. But I'm glad I got it all up. But I was laughing so hard. And Chris was like, what took you so long to get back? And I was like, honey, I had a whole adventure in the kitchen by myself. <laughs> I could not believe it. But you know what? I'm going to hop off of here, guys. It is going to be an amazing day. Um, I'm about to go to bed now. I mean, obviously, it's late when I'm filming this. But... I hope that your Saturday was amazing. If it's not done yet, obviously you're watching this probably at 5 o'clock when this is dropping. Uh, make sure that you find something fun to do. Don't just sit in the house tonight. It, or if you are sitting in the house, invite some friends over. It's time to be around people and feed off each other's energy and just have a good time. Find that show. Find that movie that is that nostalgia that makes everybody just laugh and have a good time and let your hair down. If you don't drink, then, you know, that's cool, too. Have you some water and hang out. Get you some juice. If you have a cocktail, get some wine. Make a, a signature drink for everybody and come over. Uh, and just have fun. And, and again, if you're eating healthy, some, some great things. 
Um, I don't know if you was on Rich Luck Shopping Channel. We did HEB Plus and we saw these beautiful charcuterie boards that you could purchase. Those are something great to grab to have just ready to snack on and then some fruit trays. Uh, and then of course you can always go to Sam. Sam's has these amazing trays of sandwiches if you're really wanting uh, that kind of stuff. But find a way to be around people and have a good time. I know that um, Chris and I are so tired of sitting in our house, so we're going to figure out something to do uh, tomorrow when I get off work, because I'm off on Sunday and Monday, of course, uh, or today when I get off work, and then Sunday and Monday I'm off. So, I mean, it just depends. We're going to figure out something to do, because you know what? We're tired of sitting in this damn house. It's 900 degrees in here, and it's not going to change uh, in, in the next week. So, uh, I, I would love for it to, but we know it's probably not going to, but um, again, I, I don't can't, I, I'll control what I can control, girl. <laughs> but again, uh, if you love the video and you want to leave a super thanks, it's the heart with the dollar sign on it. If you don't want to send it through there, my Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal is linked down in the description below. Just as a reminder, again, my birthday is July 8th, so it's actually next week. So you have a little bit of time left to send anything in the mail if you want to send a card, if you want to send a gift. Uh, just know you don't have to send anything, but I will be opening the things that I did get on camera. Uh, those that want to send me something, please make sure you list your YouTube name or your username. And then, of course, if I'm allowed to open whatever it is that you send on camera, because again, one, we want to make sure that it is not something inappropriate for camera. You're more than welcome to send something inappropriate. I don't care. I just want to make sure I'm not doing it on camera because, again, I want to make sure that this is uh, somewhat family friendly. And then uh, also, if you send a card, am I allowed to read it on camera? Because, again, um, I want to be able to share the, the love that you're all sending me. Uh, just know that the address that is down below to send the gifts are not, it's not my home address. Uh, so don't worry about anybody doing it. Don't make comments of, oh my gosh, why are you putting your personal information out there? Because it's not my personal information. So send it over there. Make sure again, put your username because I want to give you a shout out. And if I'm allowed to read it or open on camera, uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. We are so close to having 2,000 subscribers on here. 2,000 Taylor Tots up in this family. Just make sure that if you get an opportunity, share it with somebody, get them to, to, to follow me. I know a lot of you are watching my videos that are not subscribed, so please make sure that you actually subscribe so that way um, we can grow this channel because again, the more activity that we get on each video uh, within the first two hours, and then of course, watch everything later on, but the first two hours really is the engagement that's gonna get the algorithm, uh, algorithm to push my video forward out to more uh, people out in the universe. And then of course, uh, the ads. So I know that there's ads been added in here since I've been monetized. If you can, please just let them play. That's how we actually get some coins up in here, honey. Uh, and it's easy. And I will tell you, if it's a really, really long one, just skip it, girl. It is what it is. I can't control what they're putting on there. We don't have a say. I wish I did because I would like to be able to uh, put targeted things on there that would actually help my tailored tots out. And even for myself, because I, I mean, I watch my own videos, girl. <laughs> but all right, guys. I love you guys so much. I hope you had an amazing Saturday and, and you still got time to make it even more fabulous, girl. Make sure justice is always served. It's always in here. And just remember, you cannot have an amazing tomorrow until you fix your mindset today. I will see you all tomorrow and have a sickening day, girl. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mwah.